Yes! Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. Today I am doing um, one request and one something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. The techniques were very similar, they're both going to be done to trench coats, so I thought I would combine them into a video. And for our next video, I'm gonna be taking the rest of it and doing I don't know what with yet, but you will see when that video comes out. So I'll start off with this inspiration right here. A couple people sent me this. This one is an Alexander Wang and I thought it was super simple. So I thought I would share it with you guys. And I don't know if you guys saw that video, but I did a reaction to men's wear like runway shows and oh, I got so much inspiration. And I saw this particular one right here and it inspired me so much because I had a very, very similar trench coat in my stash. And this is what I said about it. I would wear that crop trench with the gathered um, curve up at the top, but I would wear it with a body kind dress so it's like kind of loose up at the top and then fit it underneath yes so we're gonna see if I can make those dreams come true let's do it okay so I have on the first trench coat and it just so happens that both of them are a color a shade of green green does happen to be my favorite color so I'm just I guess drawn to it if you don't have a sewing machine I'm gonna give you some options for that as well so let's go ahead and get started with pinning you want to add some pins right where um, how short you want it to be cropped and make sure make sure you leave seam allowance and this is a good candidate because it has like a big stain on the bottom um, and so I'm going to of course salvage as much as I can for any other projects but it's a really good idea to do it to this because it has unremovable stain okay so since the pocket hits right here and I know that I want mine to be at least that length what I'm going to do is I am yes I'm going to cut it to almost right there but then I'm going to use some of the bottom to be the turn under part so I'm not so concerned that I can't cut below this part so um, I'm going to go ahead and add a pin right in the front I really don't want mine that cropped I want that big elastic band to be right above my pants which is right at my belly button so we're going to add the pin right there and don't worry about my pajamas. It's getting to be that time of year where matching PJs is like the absolute best. And I am getting my matching PJs on point for this year. I haven't treated myself in so long. So yeah, I'm wearing my matching PJs for Christmas this year. <laughs> But, um, okay, so I have this one, and this one is actually going to be cut above the chest. So I have my little sliver of soap here, and I am just going to draw, like, kind of how I want it to go. And you want to do that at least on one side, and then you can just match it on the other, or if you're afraid that you might mess up, you do it on both sides so that you have something to compare it to. And I want to go down underneath the arms and around the back and the back is going to be like kind of right underneath where the sleeve stops so then we want to match that on the other side and we'll verify this but whatever it is i want it to be above the chest so that one's going to go that way and we can take it off and we can get to cut in and while i'm doing that you guys i just wanted to remind you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below we are almost almost getting to 200,000. it would be amazing if we can get to 200,000 before the end of the year so you guys subscribe and share this video to let everybody know all the amazing upcycles going on right here all right so we have the pale green one here and this is just going to be a straight crop um i originally said that i was going to crop it a little bit below the pockets but the fabric is kind of opening up underneath so it would still have a split in it. So I'm gonna cut it right at the pockets. Um, and also I know that I'm going to want to reuse those pockets, hopefully, hopefully, I'm hoping. So that has me a little bit higher than I originally planned by about like a half an inch. Hopefully it'll be okay. And then I also noticed that there is a hole underneath the arm, so I'm going to have to fix that. All right, so let's shorten our sleeve. It's just gonna be a little cap sleeve. Well, cap sleeve would be more like, more like that. So it's gonna be a little bit more than a cap sleeve. But by the time I finish, 
it'll be kind of like a cap sleeve. So I'm doing it up to there. Then in order to match the other one, I'm gonna line, fold this one, just like I had the other one folded. And then put this sleeve on top. I'm gonna cut it off in the same place. All right, I'm gonna put those sleeves aside. I might use them for something else later. Then I want to bring back the bottom of the coat because that can be used as the, um, what do you call that? I'll put the word, it's gonna pop up on the screen right now. <laughs> I want to say binding, but that's not what it is. Um, casing, yes. The casing for the elastic. And actually, we want to find our elastic first. All right, so I found a piece of elastic. It came off of a skirt. The skirt was the brand Covington. <laughs> you can see it right there. I can't tell you how long I've had this piece of elastic um, because I wanted to use the fabric for something else. And as a matter of fact, I know exactly what I use the fabric for um, when I used to make my daughter doll clothes for Christmas. And you guys make a comment if you remember, if you've been a subscriber from back when I used to make uh, stuff for my daughter's dolls. But, um, and if you have, I'm sending hearts to you right now. And these nice wide pieces of elastic, I love to save these because they're gonna come in handy one day and today's the day. So I wanna make sure that I have space for the elastic and the new casing that I'm making. So, and because this is for a personal project, I'm not going to worry about this little stain here because it's for the casing, which is going inside. So um, this has been washed. It's just one of those things that won't come out. So I am, for my personal projects, not for a blueprint signature, for my personal projects, I am okay with that. All right, so now I'm gonna take my seam ripper and I'm just going to open it up so that these strips, Ooh, it's almost, dang. Thank you. Um, so that it opens up. And I'm also going to iron them. I know, you guys, give me a hand. I'm actually gonna iron something. Once these are ironed, I'm going to pin them so that we have good side to good side. So actually, this side should go over here. So we're gonna have good side to good side. I'm gonna pin that down and go sew it down. And it'll meet somewhere in the middle. Honestly, I don't even really her. For if you're doing no sew, preferably you wouldn't have to do this strip. That pocket wouldn't be so high, so you could just take make it longer by you know whatever this amount is, this amount. So it would be already still attached. You would just cut the coat longer and then just turn it under like that, right? And then you could just take some fabric glue and glue this edge down. And let me point out another thing that you can do. You could also use the lining as the other side for the casing. So you could just open up this lining, sew them together at the bottom, add the elastic, and then sew them together at the top. Um, then actually you wouldn't have to cut off any extra material as well. And um, yeah, so if you were doing no sew, you would cut this so that, you know, it's lined up with that. Attach these two with the glue, add the elastic inside, and add another glue stitch at the top. Then we take it to the sewing machine and we make a stitch all around the edge. All right, so before I can turn it over, I need to go ahead and finish up the back. And what that means is connecting these two, so let's do that. Whenever I don't know exactly the length I'm gonna need, I just sew it down until I get close. And then I can join them here. And pin, 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 pin. Okay, so I went and added this. I ironed it flat to make sure that the edge will be nice and crisp. And what I'm going to do is, or what I did was pin the edge of the elastic in. I'm gonna have to take the rest of this off. Blech. But anyway, I pinned the rest of the elastic in so that I don't have to then take it through with a safety pin. It would have been okay to take it through with a safety pin, but I'm just skipping a step by going ahead and putting it in before I sew. So then I'll fold this over and go ahead and sew this side down. And of course, this won't be long enough to go all the way through, but um, once I get that far, I'll start to stretch it and it'll be do like doing two things at once. 
Okay, so before we go ahead and hem the sleeves and the lining, I want to show you something that I realized that I did. Well, first of all, once you first, you know, get the elastic in, whether you have to put it in beforehand like I did or you have to put it in afterwards, you want to go ahead and kind of stretch that to make sure it's all even throughout. You can see it's super cute, super, super cute. Um, but what I realized is that because these button, this button placket has these hidden buttonholes, I covered up my buttonhole and so i can't close my top um and it's already cropped so i definitely want to be able to button it up um the other thing is that i really like the buttons i would like the buttons to show um, 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 um so i have a couple options i can put new buttonholes in to make sure these buttons come down the front because i really do like them or I can move this out of the way in order to get this button to come through. You guys let me know in the comments what you think I should do. Take this a little carefully. We don't want to lose our elastic. All I want to do is pin it further back. And then I want to cut this and fold it over. And then just have this to that point right there. Sew it down right there. And sew this down as well. And we can also sew our elastic on the edge. I'm gonna sew this one right over this seam right here. I'm gonna sew this elastic. I'm gonna try to get it to right here so I can, you know, not have any extra stitches. And the last thing we need to do for this one is just to double fold him both the outer layer of the sleeve and the inner layer. And when you do the inner layer, you want to do you want to fold it more, actually you want to fold it anywhere, um, more than the outer because you don't want this to fall down lower than this. And then once you finish, you can also add a stitch, just a tiny little hand stitch to make this hold to this. And you can also do this with glue. Just go to your iron and iron it flat first. And then once you get it iron flat, then add the glue inside the same. All right, so this time I am going to use, let's see, elastic that is three quarters inch. They probably sell, a, sell it as one inch elastic. They always do that. Um, and then this elastic is two inch. All right, so I wanna make sure that my seam allowance is enough to cover the elastic plus some. Okay, so for this one, I am going to cut a good amount um, so that I can try to use that to turn under. Optimally, when you do a curve, you definitely want a casing if you want that curve to be right. Yeah, we're going to try it this way first. If it doesn't work, we'll go back and add a casing. And for this one, all I'm going to do is go to the sewing machine turn it under that curve mm, mm. it is not looking promising I knew it wasn't okay so this means I have to do it like the other one I have to cut this section off place it up here and then sew it back on oh, I don't wanna all right so then what we're going to do is take it to the sewing machine and sew this edge all the way around and like I said, we could flip it. And so this side on this, and just like we're doing the other one, all around on the, right along the edge. All right, so I have the elastic here. I'm going to put a giant pin on one end just so it won't go through, hopefully. And then just a regular pin, although the giant pin would be helpful. Well, maybe I'll take the giant pin edge through. It will go faster. The bigger your pin, the faster you can go through. We're just gonna push this through until we get all the way to the other side. And so it's all the way through and we just wanna go Sew it down on the edge to make sure 
that it stays in there. And that'll be it for this one. All right, so let's see how they turned out. But just right quick before we do that, I wanted to tell you guys about my free Facebook group and my upcycle class. The free Facebook group, like I said, is free. And it's just for people who want to, um, who do upcycle and they want to share the upcycles with like-minded, positive people. Yes, it's all about positivity. So click the link in the description box to go there, as well as my upcycle class. We are in, well into the class, but you can join at any time we record the classes so you can kind of uh catch up and see what we've been doing but it's so fun so hit that join button down below to learn more about that as well as you could just become a member and get all the other perks as well you can hit that join button to learn about those as well all right so let's see how this turned out first we'll do the light green one but my weakness keep on linger, linger on on repeat like it will be my favorite song oh i know i should be moving moving on but you can't Oh my gosh, I really like this. I was a little nervous because you guys know that I did have to crop it a little bit higher. But with high-waisted pants, which I have plenty of high-waisted pants, including these green pants that you guys have seen a million times, I styled it with this jacket that I have on right now. I also styled it with my corset hoodie. Looks amazing and with almost anything. This time I just took some cording and tied it around the ankles. That is a hot trend right now. So if you don't have pants like that that come with their own ties then just make some and add them to a pair of wide leg pants there you go cute little top that for me would probably always be worn with high-waisted pants what about you how would you style it let me know in the comments below now let me say before we go into the second one that you guys heard at the beginning that I planned on styling this with my bodycon dress I did the upcycle and went in my closet looking for this perfect dress for this that I had envisioned in my mind and lo and behold I cannot find that dress anywhere I've had that dress so long it's like one of the longest and most worn dresses in my wardrobe because it's cotton it's stretchy I wore it when I was pregnant I wore it just at any time it's a good dress and I can't find it so I am sick right now but um I just decided to use it as a really nice layering piece so let me show you what I did with it I keep on lingo, lingo. with my crop blazer. If you guys missed that video, I have a video for how to crop a blazer, no so. And I started with that blazer. I love how it looks paired over something else. You could put it over a blazer. You could put it over like a long blazer. You could put it over a camo jacket. You could just wear it um, over a tank top like you see me with it here. Um, so any way you wanna style it, I just love layering pieces, especially in the fall. Fall is for layering. So, and winter for layering. So you get to add some extra dimensions to your wardrobe that you really can't do too much in the summertime so yes I absolutely love 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 this one I'm so glad I did it and I'm super excited for what I can make to pair with it with the bottom half I don't know I don't know it's gonna be one of those like weird um, I don't know what I'm doing videos but you guys just sit behind the camera and laugh at me while I do it <laughs> But I'm excited to do it. So uh, you guys definitely subscribe so you don't miss that. That's coming next. But yes, let me know in the comments which one was your favorite, how you would style it, and any of the upcycles that I've mentioned, I did link them in the description box as well as there are other videos right here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!